guys, welcome back. We have our next guest, who is um, Uski Walters, who is a publicist, Icon Logo Award. And um, interestingly, we, we have so many awards in this country, so many people give awards, yeah. and, and it's, it's more like a means to identify or celebrate people's success yeah. and people's um, <coughs> victory, you know. So we're going to be talking about how it helps the present day youth for a better future. Well, first of all, welcome to the show. Good to have you on board. Thank yeah, you very much. First time. Of course. <laughs> um, let's talk about awards. Why are we, why is there a need to even give people awards? Ah, well, there's actually a need though, because basically awards all just makes you stand out from whatever thing you're doing. Mm. All right, so basically it helps boost, mm. you know, your confidence. Take for instance, you're a makeup artist and then you, you're doing make up for like a year or two, you know, but when you're being recognized by an organization or an award body, you know, it makes you feel yeah that what you're doing, you're doing it right. Mm. So that's just it basically. Okay. Um but the truth is a lot of awards are compromised because okay. it's almost like as if people have to pay to get an award, people have to do all sorts to get an award because now it's somewhat like a validation of the person, mm -hmm. especially with social media now. Mm -hmm. You don't get an award it means you're not being you're not doing anything right. So looking at that aspect um, the authentic authenticity of awards, do you think it should be contested as it is now? You mean people um, saying that Pain, they have to pay? Yeah, that there's no need for awards. That awards are really not necessary anymore because people are paying for it. Um, basically, if I'm to say from my own point of view, um, um, you as an individual or as a brand, yeah, if you think that you are doing very well it's not actually you're paying for it mm -hmm. per se but you actually um take for instance you do for it and you're being recognized okay. by a body mm -hmm. yeah now it's just from your own outwill that okay let me support these people mm -hmm. or let me support this organization not that you're paying for it mm -hmm. per se so that's it you know because gone are the days when people normally they will just nominate people and they'll pick out of discretion for maybe but now people are going the route of having to pay money and all those things. Yes, the, the people who are giving awards have to make money, but mm. just to, do you understand what I'm saying? Tell yes. me the authenticity. Are, are you sure? Let me just say, are mm. awards legitimate nowadays? Giving awards, is it legitimate? Awards are legitimate, but I think there are some, some brands who, some award producers that are not doing it right. Mm. They're not doing it in the right way. So they will just come up and put up something and then begin to look out for people who wants to. You know, but take for instance the Hedges Awards and the rest of them. These people are people which they have yeah. set the pace, and you wouldn't say that the, the Hedges Award. I know how uh, when you get this stuff as an artist, you get this award, you know the validation it gives to you, you know the value it adds to you as a person, as a brand. You know, so um, just like we have different um, um, individuals and different brands, they are the reals and they are. Mm. the unreal mm. so it's now you who is the brand that will now decide should you collect this one will this award be able to add to you yeah. you know or let me just keep it aside mm -hmm. okay but what you do is um you i know you celebrate people in different walks of life how has the journey been like in celebrating people and giving awards to people what's it been like for you because you've been this scene for a while yeah. so describe your experience as a would i say yeah as, as a, a publicist handling or giving or <laughs> celebrating people, you know, what's it been like for you? All right, so I got Noble Awards started as a 2016, and then we have been celebrating people. This year is going to be the eighth edition, and then we've done a whole lot regarding personalities. People send us emails, people send us DMs, mm -hmm. telling us what the award which we've given to them have added to them as a brand. Mm -hmm. You know, them, you know, you tend to see them after we have Nom do the, our normal nominations and then the votings and then they em eventually emerge as the winner and then on their status or whatever platform they, they have there. they put it up there like an award-winning mm. celebrity award-winning <laughs> makeup artist award-winning now it authenticates your business basically because we try as much as possible to validate or add value to our award plaque which we give to people you know so this award once you have it people who wants to do business with you you as a brand mm and you as a businessman or whatever services which you're rendering, it authenticates you as that person. So mm -hmm. people, it makes you better. You don't have yeah. to start negotiating and start talking too much and all that. So mm. this is what but we've been doing. But is that an award um, regulating body? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> that regulates the award, ah. just like a body of, there should ah. be. No, 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 I don't, there is none at the moment. Mm. There is none, there is none. 
you know, but we feel that um, the people who is now left for the recipients, mm. basically to be able to know if this award is going to add to them, because the award is meant to add to you, mm. you know, not you adding to the award in a way. So it's not left for you to now decide, should you go for this? And then if it's going to add mm. to you, look out for it and then go and accept it. Okay. Okay. And all that. Um, what are some of the challenges you faced in trying to recognize people? What are some of those? Um, because people just say, let me just give people awards. But what are the mm. challenges that you face, especially because you have experience in this field? Is it the challenges of the industry? Yes, in in this space because there are people. That's what they do. Yeah. They are an organization and they are they they do this and this is something you be doing every year. So yeah. what are some of the challenges? Like you have putting up the events. Yes, putting up well, the events. Well, it's based on the whole thing. It's still sponsorship, mm. basically, because. Um, if a, a um, if an award is meant to be given to someone, to me, you're not supposed to pay for it. Sponsors are meant to. You're not even supposed to pay for it. You're not supposed to even support in a way. Mm. The, it's just if the organization wants to collect, they could now say, okay, out of your own mind, take this. You mm. should just you know. But award is meant to be supported fully by sponsors, brands, and the rest of them. So From if they're nominating me, I'm not supposed to pay you. If you're nominating me for award, I'm not supposed to pay you. You're not supposed to. It's not pay, you don't pay for an yeah. award. You don't pay for but it. You are saying that some people actually pay for awards. No. So what I mean is, you're getting it wrong. Some people appreciate. Uh -huh. They appreciate the event. Oh. Do you understand? It's just like, um, take for instance now, your sister or, let's say, I remember those period when we... we we win awards in school, and then we come back home and tell mommy, mommy, see what we know. Okay. Mommy, and I say, oh, yeah, hi, nice one. Well done, my daughter. Yeah, go and buy this thing, or take this sweet, or take that stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's like you're appreciating this, you know, for your job well done. So that's just it, basically. Okay, yeah. interesting. Um, let's go to one twenty three before we kind of right. go back. Right. Yeah, Yvonne Nelson, alleged allegations almost ruined my relationship. Yeah, yes, I know you heard about those. Of those. course. Uh, what do you think? Uh, what do you think? Yeah, I'm trying to say because he says you know, Yvonne Nelson's allegations almost through my relationship. Now, Yvonne Nelson came up with a book detailing uh, her relationship and experience with Nyaya. Okay. So he's saying that those allegations ruined his relationship. Well, um, <laughs> they had, I think they had a relationship pre prior yeah. to now, yeah. and then um, everything, it's a regular thing that happens in, in, uh, in the world today, both in our the, uh, relationship we don't tend to see online and the rest of them. So it ruined his relationship, per se, based on what this person wrote. Um, it's, it's now left for him to allow it. To me, eh, sorry, you, you, it's when you allow whatever anybody say or whatever anybody do to ruin your relationship, that it, it ruins it mm. to me. Because um, it's now you and your relationship, now you and who you are, who you're with at that moment, that you tell your past stories and then let this person know that, okay, this is what you have with this person. And now, th whatever this person is putting out, it's the lady who you're with shouldn't even... Mm. She didn't even, she should just allow it wave, you know, and then she didn't, she didn't uh, okay. deter your relationship to oh, me. Okay, uh, yeah. that's um, yeah, speaking there. Yeah, it's mm. gone through a lot. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's gone through a lot. He went through a, no, it's gone through a lot because when he was on the scene, it was trending. Yeah. Of course, it was yeah. a lot of people were, yeah, but it was, of course. Yeah, yeah, but then he details how he went through a serious meltdown financially and he wasn't mm. getting shows. Mm. And he said he even almost committed suicide and now he's, back again so he's gone through a lot of course uh, i think that's once an artist is not making money at some that's what it affects once an artist is not touring once he's not making money yeah if no one is calling him for yeah. shows it's that's almost like the end of his career Total. you know and um let's go to the last trailer story where sex for rose is the reason i stopped nollywood career ash <laughs> you know when i i um Okay, Ashwish is someone who is kind of close. We are kind of we, are we, close, we okay. were close, and then we we talk a lot. So when I saw this stuff, I like yeah, because she's really gone through a, lot. a whole lot in getting to this point where she is. You know, I know sometimes in our in the entertainment industry, people will say um, and what is this thing they call self-made? Mm. You know, she is she is ninety percent, ninety to ninety-eight percent self-made because mm. she has worked really hard for wherever she is and whatever she she's getting right now. So. Um, to see her doing very well in her entertainment space, even acting and the rest of them. So if she's actually saying this, yeah, mm. it's uh, it's it's she has she has gotten to that level, okay, you know. Uh, so she can now start putting out, putting out putting out her own movies if she wants to, mm. and then um, every other stuff uh, attached to movie. So she doesn't you know, so. the sex for those things is, is a lot actually in the mm -hmm. industry, and um, I don't know why no one is cautioning producers. 
about this because it happens it happens in a lot of industries but a lot. even in the actor it's so rampant it's so rampant you know um, well it's so rampant in the movie industry but do you know is anyway man who go find trouble yeah. hey, what did you <laughs> man who go say? call any other industry yeah. right now it's, it happens, <laughs> in, almost, it happens in, a, in a lot but of other industries but too. more like in those places in those than places. in the mm. movie industry more in those places. I wouldn't want to mention these industries still. They don't hold me. I might get to that industry soon. <laughs> and then they say you were mentioning our industry. <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's let's move on. We we just we wrapped up the trending stories. Uh, so you are the award another award is coming up this yes, year. Yes, yes, yes. Um what are what's different about this year's award? Ah, uh, well, it's gonna be far more different because right this year we are actually um upgrading our award play. It's another thing that adds to our award. You're upgrading the award play to a gold mirror plated award mm. with a very nice base, you know, which you're gonna have a, a team to it. And this year edition is called Be Limitless. Wow. You know, so Be Limitless is actually for those personalities, those individuals, whatever industry you are, you've been able to surpass, mm. you know, or you break through and mm -hmm. then you're there. So Be Limitless basically is now you getting to that particular um, level, level which you know you've gotten you know, onto. So That's we are awarding these people. So it's happening on the 9th of September at the rental hotels. Nice. And I must say they gave me an award last year. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, <laughs> I was awarded last year. I don't know I didn't win on the show. I it's don't know why. It's a beautiful <laughs> plaque and yeah. um, if I knew you were coming, I would have, you know, brought it to yeah. this. They gave me an award last year. It's a really nice uh, moment. We're so having a nicer award play like this year. You don't want to miss this year's one. <laughs> can I swap the one I took so that you can give me this new award? Of course, of course. Oh? We'll do that. Nice, nice. So where is it? It's happening on... On the 9th, ninth at the rental hotel. What time? Uh, 4 p.m. red carpet. Should by... Yeah, by should by invite. Invitation. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it was nice having you on the show. Any mm. last words? For which people? For <laughs> the <laughs> award people. for the award business now. All right. So for the award business, for those of us who actually want to go into award business, you have to um, be consistent because 2000, 2015 when we started, some persons you tend to nominate them and they don't even give you a damn about your award. <laughs> you know, we kept on doing that. You kept on doing that, but <laughs> <these days. laughs> you wouldn't even give it that. So, but now there are so many. Um, so many uh, people, so many celebrities who actually want to get these awards. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to mention them. You're going to see them coming this year. Um, should I mention names? <laughs> <laughs> you can mention a few names. All right, so we're going to have Charles Okocha coming. We're going to have Fiyoki coming down. We're going to have uh, Lord Lambert coming in. We're going to have uh, Mary Lazarus and the rest of them who are coming to receive this award. Mm. You know, and then um, it's going to add to them this time around, not them adding to our award now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming on the show. Uh, 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 thanks so much. And um, of course, for our first our first set of years, we came on the show speaking about jazz. Um, thank you, too for coming through mm. on the show. Um, we'll give you more information regarding our Miss Universe Nigeria, so keep it locked here. And you can also follow the conversation on our Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, to get more details about Miss Universe Nigeria and follow the conversation. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow for our Wednesday show. So please make sure you What's that thing they say? Drop water and um, drink water, drop cold. But I think we have our word of the day. Uh, I don't know if we have our word of the day. But this is where, okay. The best way to predict the future is to create. So that's from Abraham Lincoln. Uh, the best way to predict the future is to create it. So please create the future. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.